Oh. Whew, looking forward to this today. Oh man. Well, <clears throat> I have to tell the customer I can't do it. <sighs> what a bad day. Welcome to another episode of... I don't know what this is going to be. In fact, no, I do know what it's going to be. Today we are both going to be learning how to hang a sliding door. That's the track the customer fitted. In fact, I had done two of these before, but this one's massive. However, this one's going to be awkward because I've got to glue the two pieces together, I've got to manage to cut it all down, and I'm, I'm going to struggle. So this is going to be a learning curve for the both of us. Anyway, hopefully it'll be a nice lesson. That is god awful. Can you see the dip right here? It dips about 10 mil from about there all the way to the end and the floor's out. <laughs> So I've managed to square it up. I need to cut the cross members to give it strength, pretty much. Oh, oh this? Oh, front sliding Hakoki 216 blade. Came with a stand. Yeah, this, this, I'll tell you, was one quarter of a mental breakdown. Yeah. The other three quarters you'll, you'll see in later videos, but for now, hush hush. Bit of a surprise for you later on. That dust extraction is amazing. Are the instructions. Now remember last video when I said don't ignore the instructions. You should always read them. Good example. For this door, I'm measuring 60 mil from the end inwards. Get it in the center, screw the bits in. That part has to face on the outside and it should be as easy as that. Famous last words. Oh, it's too Still catches. Oh. So the instructions give you two choices. You can either go around the door like that, or you can do it on the inside and cut a groove out the middle. Now I can't cut the groove out the middle because I've got a di different thickness on the outside, the 4B2, and then I've got the tongue and groove, and it all steps in at the back. So I've got to do that, which. That's a good design, I guess. That's the only good thing they've done with this. I'm only joking, it's actually a pretty good product. tools that you can buy. You can buy the trend ones, you can buy um, other ones. But what I use, I just use a simple compass. You know, like you'd use like in maths at school and you go, oh, circles and ah. Biggest gaps at the top. And also, I'm going to show you how it's cut it whilst it's on. I'm not doing that, I'm going to have to take it off again. Oh, 
Right, people. That is me for today. Oh, it's been a it's been a whirlwind of a ride. I'm really tired now. I'm really hungry. <sighs> Fancy a burger. So I've got to tidy up all of this mess now. I've got all of my. Uh, I've got to tidy up all this mess now. So I've got all our batteries, all that there, and then glue, and then there's stuff on that table. And but we finished. Well, I'll say we're finished. I still gotta put the handles on and everything, but they've not arrived yet, so I'll put them on one like on Saturday or something.